Bonjour, bonjour, hello, um, good evening. This is just simply a continuation of the previous video. I just want to finish it. So this is the last video and I just... Uh, I, was, I wanted to finish it and, and do something. Continue doing my other research as you see. So, here it is, all everything, I tried to, to run the model, I used some, I, I tried to use some data, actually, you see, this is the dwarf, dwarf data, the data is just a daily, daily interval, so I want very, very, I mean, a, a minutes or hours, something like that. So, I used some, just an arbitrary, arbitrary data, like uh, I can show you here. Simply, I just gave it a day. See, this actually, the date comes with, uh, I mean, it came from the ArcGIS with the package, with the data. So, I just simply, um, enter some data. Actually, I, I found this uh, data in a, a one-hour step uh, data, but I just used it for for five minutes due to the reason that the model refused a one-hour step because the lag time it should be the time interval should be 0 0.29 times la lag time. You see. For example, the lag time of um, we can see uh, transform. You see lag time minute 33 something like that. We touch it should be the time interval should be 0 0.29 times this number. It's a, it's around eight minutes or nine minutes something like that. So I have to um, um, the interval should be less than eight or something like that. So. I used a one, one, one hour rainfall, one hour uh, interval rainfall in eight minutes, something like that. So this is just simply effect, effect that I, I can say. Just simply to run to see whether all my uh, data that I prepared in ArcGIS is, is, is good enough or not, or that may I mean, it, it it might stop and completely say uh, this is wrong data or something like that. Um, but fortunately, uh, it doesn't it doesn't do it doesn't do that. It, it just accepted all those datas, and they are correct. They are correct. I I run it. You see, I, I can show here the table that the result. This is the result I got with that fake uh, RM4. You see, in meter cube, 12, something like that, is the volume of uh, water in each uh, junction, you see, at each point, you see, each point has uh, a value, either a volume, peak, peak discharge, yeah, and the subbasin drainage area is also calculated from the ArcGIS, you see. So, uh, the, each element, you see, has um, a value. Uh, sometimes, you see, very little value. Sometimes, zero might be also, um, there is nothing, no discharge at all. So, what I, I uh, that might be because of the, uh, the, the data I used, but, I can show that, in, for example, number number thirteen, number fourteen. I can run and see, for example, for the fourteenth times, just simply to see if it can run or not. So, that's number fourteen. You see, you see, it's just running to Gala, to Gala watershed, running. You see, now the result. That is the result, you have changed the result. So 
it's very wonderful it's very wonderful so it's very 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 I am very happy I am very happy the thing I I, I did here uh, on the uh, precipitation gates there was around 51 gates according to the sub catchments you see sub basins um, the uh, ArcGIS calculated when uh, HEC uh, GOHMS calculated 51 around 51 gauges for each sub uh, basins it has a rain gauge station you see or oh, it considers some measurement rain measurement so what I did was I used one data one rainfall data for the whole catchment so I just replaced them, delete, delete them, even delete them and replaced uh, it with precipitation gauge number one. And uh, I just put the data here, you see, yeah, because the data is here at number one. So that's all. I just put some some control periods. So I did it. I did it. So it is wonderful to see. So there is a hope to use this model in, uh, in, 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 in um, anywhere actually. But it, it, it in South Africa is also uh, there is a lot of. I mean South Africa is a big country. So there might be yeah, other models, but oh, they also maybe using this model as well. But for me, I think it is it's a good model. So, so it's wonderful to know this model. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening. That's all. I have finished from preparing curve number grid for Tukala. It's not. It's not preparing only curve number grid. She's just preparing the soil uh, data, uh, preparing land cover. It, it, it takes a lot of, I mean, just um, collecting all those data, preparing, changing the, uh, the, the, the coordinates, you see, it means the, um, the there are lots lots of um, types of coordinates. Uh, for example, the data I I, I found um, from Natal University has another system. You see, of uh, coordinate system. The word that uh, not or not eighteen nineteen something like that. So the others uh, which I found from uh, internet has another. So I have to make them much. You see, I have to change all the the, uh, the system and so on. Then extract all the land use cover and something something like that. Yeah, so a lot of time, a lot of a lot of work, and then creating a curve number grid after that and calculating the curve number of uh, the sub basins on the catchment it feels wonderful very wonderful then after that also using that curve number it works you see you see it was it was it gives me a pleasure to see that it is working so Again, I was successful to produce or create uh, um, all these catchment properties, you see junctions, everything. So now I run it here and see the peak discharge, time to peak, volume. This is wonderful. That is what I studied for. See. This. Merci beaucoup. Uh, merci. Um, thank you very much for listening. Merci. That's all.